Hola, konnichiwa, hello, bonjour, jumbo, it's me, Zippy, and today is April 26, 2020, this Sunday, and today I thought to make a video about my favorite anime. And I'm thinking, you know, my videos are really, 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 really long. Like, last one I did was really long, right? And if you were committed and watched it, kudos to you, <laughs> truly. But today, I really wanted to make a shorter video, because actually I had another video planned. Um, uh, I had it made, actually, and I filmed it. But what happened is that I ended up getting just, um, I stopped. I paused the video, and then um, basically I didn't come back to it for a while. Oops. <laughs> but after that, it just kind of, like, disappeared. <laughs> so maybe got saved, maybe got deleted, I don't know. But either way, I'm making a new one and a much shorter version this time. So it won't be just, like, me talking about, like, everything in the world and how, like, galaxies are formed. Now, this time, I'm going to be actually going right into the video and talking. Before that, I'm sorry, I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm sorry, but before that, I wanted to go ahead and say that please check out my website. Find it in the links in my um, Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook, if you know me um, on those sites. Um, my name is just, you know, the, the profile name, so it's easy to find me, you know? And I'll add it on to more links as well, but it's a very long link, but it's a, um, a website I made, and um, it's a coronavirus website, and basically I took a lot of pictures and a lot of footage um, throughout New York City where I'm living, and it's all about the coronavirus, and just how it's affecting the city, how it affects daily life, and it's like a bunch of images and even videos um, that you can see. And basically, it just goes through all, I even went through different boroughs, I went through Times Square, Wall Street, I went through everywhere. Yonkers, which is not part of New York City, but you know, Westchester, I went even there. And so I really want you guys to check it out, and you know, it, I took a lot of time on it, I, I really put a lot of effort into it, I've had this idea since like, the epidemic unfortunately started. Um, and it really has changed life here, um, flipped it on its head, but, um, luckily things are getting to be better now, um, as of, um, late April, and things looking up, so I'm really happy about that, and so hopefully that'll continue, and I'm just gonna say I'm gonna, out, I'm, I'm out there really hoping you guys are doing well, hoping you're all safe and healthy, and, um, keep it up, we can get through this, so you got this, guys, but anyway, let's go right into the video, and some favorite anime. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my number one anime, my favorite one of all time. And um, I'll be honest, I haven't heard this anime in a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and look up One Piece characters. And the funny thing is, I search One Piece on Google, the first thing I get is One Piece, well, not the first thing, but one of the things I get is One Piece fillers, like top seven, which is hilarious. Um, I think Naruto maybe have more than that, but um, okay, I'm sorry. Now, it's, if you watch the rest of the video, you'll see that Naruto and me are not enemies, okay? So anyway, spoiler. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my favorite anime, and I just revealed it to you already, but it is One Piece. And this is a book I've always loved. I first read it. Um, this girl, you know, I stayed with her. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Her, she wasn't, she wasn't there. I stayed in her room, right? Um, she used to live in Japan. Her family was in Japan. She went to, she was like... Uh, going to school in Japan, so she knows Japanese, you know, um, and so, you know, she was out of town, she was in the Netherlands, um, and studying there, but I stayed in her room, and it was completely full of manga books, and I was like, oh, I was so in awe of everything, you know, and she had all the books, and she had a bunch of Hunter x Hunter books just lined, like, along her pillow, and a big, big, big shelf of manga books, and I was like, wow, you know, this is like, great for me. So I spent the entire time there, uh, well, not all my time, but a bunch of it reading um, One Piece. And so she like, I don't know, like book, like 70 years, like something like that, or 50 something. And I read all the way to like, you know, maybe 20 something. But I just, I don't know. I, I won't exaggerate though. I really read a lot of books and I really was hooked into it to the point where people are telling me, parents are telling me, Put the book down, you know, but I held into that book really, really close to my heart. First of all, it was not my book. It was someone else's. I really cherish books that aren't blunt to me. Um, because I don't want to get them dirty or spoiled. Because, you know, it's just horrible. Um, but I just really also enjoy the book so much. You know, it's just like a treasure for me. 
And so I love the story. What I love the story of the characters, I would say. First of all, the characters are just really enjoyable. They're also the dynamic and just, like... So, like, the personalities are just so different, you know what I mean? And they're just so, like, out there. But that's what makes them lovable and, you know, enjoyable. And, um, definitely, I'd say the best character in anime for me would be definitely Luffy D. Monkey because, um, he's just really, like, lovable and... He's very like he's almost like SpongeBob, <laughs> for lack of a better example, um, analogy I guess. He's like SpongeBob on the guard that he's like very optimistic and very like outgoing and always he's always there to make friends, you know. And even people might say, oh, like, like people who like think they're not gonna be friends with him, naturally become friends with him. You know what I mean? Like he's just like a lovable person, and he's almost like he has like no faults, but he has like really big ambitions, you know, and big dreams, you know. Similar to SpongeBob wanting to be a fry cook and crusty crab, you know. And a good one at that, Luffy wants to be a pirate, an amazing pirate who finds the One Piece, um, which is the goal that the book could find. Which I found really cool. Because also, first of all, pirates, like, who goes on with pirates? Like, pirates are just amazing, right? In a sense, Pirates of the Caribbean, I haven't really seen a lot of pirates um, in media, like books and films. So it's really great to see that kind of thing again. Obviously, maybe those published before Pirates of the Caribbean came out, but <laughs> I'm sorry, just like in general. Um, in my in my discography, but other than that, I mean, also Gwen and Luffy, I mean, what, what else do I want to say? He's just also just, um, ah, how do I explain him? I don't know. He can just make friends easily, too. But, you know, also Luffy and basically all shonen characters, main characters over overall, I mean, this is something you see in all shonen um, main characters, um, which I love Shonen, by the way, so you'll see in, like, all the books I've named are Shonen. Um, but they really have, like, a really driving ambition, and they really have something, like, really pushing them. Maybe their backstory was, like, really, really, you know, like, superhero backstory, you know, like, very dark, very unfortunate, right? Um, and something happened in their past that they didn't want to, like, go after something even more, you know? Or push them to do something really well. And so that's something to find in Shonen characters and really inspiring to me. And just, I know, it's just, it's like, character in a book is inspiring to you, but no, it's like they are. Um, like, Luffy, like, Naruto, they're all just very much characters who I feel like just really have ambition and drive. And they don't let anybody tell them, oh, you can't do it. They don't let anyone do that to them. They are have to People may say, that, oh, they're crazy about it, right? But they are crazy about it. That's a good thing. It's a good thing to be, uh, be crazy. Especially about something you love. And so, I just really appreciate that, you know? And also, I just love Luffy's clothing style. Crazy, unique, straw hat. Yes, and I love how he's just, like, so, like, confident in himself. Like, he doesn't care about, like, what anyone says. Or maybe he doesn't even know what anyone says, but, like, he just, like, goes out and makes his own pirate game. Pirate crew, sorry. <laughs> I don't know, pirate game, pirate crew. And it's just, like, those people who are, like, the most unlikely characters, you know, Nami, um, who I was, was surprised that didn't have, like, a relationship with, um, Luffy, because that's, like, a thing you, a thing you might see a lot, you know, which annoys me, because it's, like, Nami and Monkey are, like, here and here, in terms of, like, oh, interest in each other, so, that, that's not a thing, and even, okay, maybe I didn't read it far enough, but as far as I got, Nami and, how do I pronounce his name, sorry, Ro, or, <laughs> Ro, Zoro, let me just say Zoro, okay? Um, they weren't a scene either, and I didn't see them as being a scene at all when I read the book, so that's a good for me. But, you know, and I got to the point where there was, I think, yeah, there were Shanks in the book too, which, you know, I, I like these kind of dark characters. And then I also got to the point where the last character that came into the pirate crew, um, if I can find him, so many characters in One Piece. That's probably like the understatement of the year. Um, oh man. Okay, I can't find him. It's really sad. Uh, when I finished reading the books, I, I, we, we left, you know? We, we, we don't stay somewhere for so long. It was, um... I went... I, I left off where this other character joined them. And it was this guy with a really long nose. And I was like, okay. Um, he looks like Pinocchio. Yeah. But, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what's his name. I can't find his name. That's so sad, though. Man. Okay. Either way. And also, can we just appreciate Luffy's smile? And his overall... I'm just, I'm like a Luffy stan, a Luffy fan, okay? I'm, I'm too obsessed. Okay, but anyway, I love One Piece. And you should, too. Anyway, moving on. I was in my next favorite book, manga book, of all time. 
of all time, girls and boys. Second one. Close to first, but second. Close to first. He's bleach. And I say that because... Oh, I must fall. <laughs> because, what's that left of it? What's that left of it? Bleach. Um, and a lot of people have complaints about it, but hey. I just love that overall story. Okay, if you explain some of the plot of the story, the, the plot of the story, yeah. If, if, if you explain some of the plot of the whole manga series, they may be like, okay, I'm floating. I don't, they won't understand, but the more you start from book one, and you go on, obviously, you read it, and you understand how it, like, works, you know what I mean? Like, it sounds crazy, but it makes sense, that kind of thing, you know, like physics. Um, and so basically, I just, I mean... I just love how everyone is so, like, badass, like, excuse my language, but, like, um, like, Rukia, is that, did I, did I her name right? Rukia? I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say Rukia, because that's what I thought her name was. Um, <laughs> but I just love how, like, she's just, like, okay, she is only, like, I was thinking, okay, her and, her and Chigo are gonna have, like, a thing going on, and I was, like, prepared for that, but they didn't! And, okay, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of felt like, darn, <laughs> Like, they're perfectly each other. Like, they're so, like, badass. And they're so, like, you know, cool. Although Chico's a little bit, you know, in the beginning of the book, I don't know how cool he is. But, um, I mean, he has orange hair. So, like, how cool is that? And he gets made fun of for his orange hair, which is, um, interesting. Because, like, anime people have, like, crazy colored hair. So, that's, like, apparently the thing that sticks out. But anyway, um, I appreciate his story arc and the whole story arc. Um... I didn't get to the part where there are too many characters. Um, I read the entire- I was addicted to the book, okay? And I got to the point where there was chapter, chapter book 7. <laughs> I went to book 7, and it ended there. There weren't any books after that, so... It's my high school library for you guys. But anyway, I heard all the anime books in that chapter- in that- in the- in all the libraries. In all the libraries. That one, the one in my high school, the one in the public libraries, all of them, okay? And so, but, um... Man, you know, this is a great, and everyone is just like, it's almost like a, how do I say this, like, it's just like, almost like a dark, kind of like, like, I look at the characters, right, and everyone has like a really like a serious face, like, you know, like, everyone is, like, no one's smiling, you know, everyone's kind of dark, and everyone's kind of just like, you know, and that kind of like makes the story, like, more unique, it's just like, sometimes you find, like, really happy-go-lucky anime, really upbeat, this one is like, so, like, it's so itself, and it doesn't, like, try to make any, anything else, um, but also I appreciate, I appreciate the friendship of Tatsuki and Orihime, who was, you know, I really don't know what role she serves in the book, besides being, um, a romantic subplot. Um, I mean, let's just say that some things about her were very overemphasized, which were kind of interesting about the story, but besides that... <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. But besides that, no, um it's just great. It's just it's just great and um I love bleach, you know. <laughs> I love bleach. Um yeah. Um Okay, next manga. Right. I haven't read this one. Now you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be hating on me. I'm gonna be saying what's wrong with you. I haven't read the manga, but I've watched some of the anime, so I'm like 100% of people on earth, you know, almost like 99% of people worth. I've watched Naruto. I know, it's crazy. I know it's crazy. I watched Naruto. Like, that's a rare thing to find people doing, right? But no, no, no. I, Naruto hooked me on the first episode, you know, not even the first few seconds. Like, it's just, bro, even I watched the first episode and then, like, okay. Then after a while, I was like, you know, I came back to it, like, maybe a few months later, and then I watched, like, I don't know what episode that was. I was like somewhere right in the middle and I popped into someone. I, I was just like, I came across it when someone else was watching it, right? And I was just like drawn into it. I didn't even know what was going on. I didn't even know what was happening, but I soon understood and I was just like, okay, there we go. Um, 